Hello everybody! Today I have for you the Pirate Baby Shower Printable Set Theme. Comes with an invitation. It also comes with the Pirate Baby Shower Banner. As you can see here, you just cut this out and decorate your party space. Uh, you can um, print as many as you'd like to decorate your entire party space. It also comes with the Baby Shower Pirate Bingo Game. That's right. It's a really cool game. All you have to do is have your guest fill out the, each section with gifts that they think the mom-to-be will get. The person who gets five in a row yells bingo and wins the game. And you also get, of course, Pirate Baby Shower labels. So these labels are perfect for labeling your dishes or you can use them as toppers on top of your cupcakes by sticking a uh, toothpick behind them and stick in the toothpick in your in your in your cupcakes so yeah i hope you enjoy this printable theme today i'm going to show you how to edit the pirate baby shower invitation so first thing you want to do is go to where the pirate invitation has been downloaded and you want to go into the file and uh, i want you to edit with gimp if you've seen my videos you know i love to edit with gimp um, it's open source completely free software okay so let's open GIMP up a little bit. Very good. Okay. Now, as you can see, the, the, the invitation is off to an angle here, right? So we're going to have to angle our lettering, our, our sentences, so it can fit with the rest of this, with these lines here. Okay. So first thing you want to do is pick the color you want to type with. I think I'm going to go with this red here. So you want to go to the color picker right here and just hover over the uh, the red, click on it, and now you have that color to, to type with. After that, you want to click the A here, just like that, and you're going to want to pick a font. You can download a pirate font if you want. I'm just going to, actually, yeah, I got this cool, scary pirate font here 20 days later from the zombie movie. And it also looks like piratey like I think so I'm gonna use that as my uh, as my type as my font and I'm gonna expand my size here my font size to 40 I think 45 will be good okay let's begin well I'm, I'm you just I'm just making um, an example here so I'm gonna use my imagination time let me see Sunday um, Sunday, January 4th, uh, let's say 2.30 p.m. Just like that. You know what? I'm going to make this bigger because the font's kind of tiny. Let's blow it up to... 60 60 works okay as you can see it's straight we want to we want to put it at an angle so after that after we type out what we want you want to go to the rotating tool here click that and click on the font you just created and you're going to want to put the angle at 10.50 just like that and click rotate good now you want to click on the move button here hover over the, the font you just created the text you created and move it into place perfect just like that now you're going to want to do the same thing for all of these different um, areas here so let's go to place again just for um example sake i'm going to use a uh, an imaginary location two two three two and this is not this is an address of course via ren via ren um let's say canfield no, let's say delta cool now we're going to rotate this again just like before you're going to go to your rotating tool Click on the font area and put this at 
0.50, rotate that by clicking this button and move it into place. Very nice. Perfect. Let's do it again for the next area from Susie and Bob Smith. That works. And again, we're going to click the rotating tool, click that, put it at 1050, rotate, and move it into place. Just like that. Okay, let's move it just a little bit more to the left. Good. Registry, let's say it's baby baby R us. And again, um, move it into place and you want to put it at an angle, rotate that. At 10.50, rotate, and move it. Cool. And finally, RSVP. So, of course, you're going to put the phone number or email address that they can RSVP to. Your guest, I mean. So let's put in 444, 4444. Four, 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 like that. Just for example's sake. Again, you want to angle it by rotating it. I mean, I should say rotate. I don't know why I say angle so much. I think that's wrong. Rotating, cool. Click the rotate button and move it into place. Just like that. Uh, now, you want to go to image and flatten it, okay? So this is fixed. All this information here is fixed. The only thing you're going to change from now on is this top part here. This is the person. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, everything is fixed, I should say. So we're going to we're going to put the name of the mom to be right here. I don't know. I don't know what, what I was talking about. So let's expand the size to, let's say, hmm, let's let's test 140. Okay, put it in there. Susie Smith, just like that. And of course, you want to angle this. I mean, rotate this. Excuse me. 1050. Rotate rotate and move it into place perfect and you're all done you just created a pirate baby shower invitation that you can send out to your friends and family make sure that you print this on 4R cardstock paper let me repeat 4R cardstock paper for best results and of course, you should send this out at least a month in advance so your guests can uh, RSVP. Thank you very much. Again, you get not only the invitation, you get the Pirate Baby Shower banner, the Pirate Baby Shower bingo game, and the Pirate Baby Shower labels for decoration. So yeah, you get this all below. Just click the link, printmybabyshower.com, and you can get all of this for free. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.